Welcome back again. Um, today we're going to be covering the Puritan Bennett 840. Um, this is much like the 7200, just newly updated, much newer machine than the 7200. Um, you can see from here that uh, down below it still has a built-in compressor that sits down in the bottom. So if we do lose our air supply or um, if we choose to actually use this away from an air supply, we can uh, run off of the compressor. There's a couple of compartments in the bottom of it to help hold supplies. Uh, by looking at the front panel here, uh, we can see that it has a built-in filter there just like the 7200. That would be the equivalent of the one that's actually up underneath it. It has a couple of um, other outlets there. Um, has an additional plug on the front. If you should need to plug a humidifier in, you can do so there. Power switch is directly on the front. And the display on this machine is all touch screen, which is pretty nice. So we will do a quick walk around and we'll look at all the features. Okay, with our walk around here, like we said, the front panel uh, display is actually a touch screen. We'll see that a little better when we turn it on here. Um, some alarm uh, lights up at the top on the front panel. All of your controls actually are directly on the front of this. Doesn't seem like a lot, but with the touch screen we get everything we need here. Um, directly on the front of the machine you can see we have our um, inspiratory and expiratory uh, ports there where we, where we will plug in our patient circuit when we get to that. We have the power switch right on the front, again covered by another uh, panel there so that we can lift it up, make sure that it doesn't accidentally get bumped on or off. Um, an outlet here where we can actually plug in a humidifier that would actually be mounted on here. Um, the compressor down below. Um, actually have a battery backup here you can see that it's actually charged or charging based on the light that's on. A little drawer for any supplies we may need. On the right side of the machine down here, you can see that's where our air and oxygen inlets come in. Um, this one has a few extra hoses and cables there because actually the power goes to this side as well. over on the left panel. We'll see here, much like our other machine, or the 7200 that had everything on the back, this one has it all on the left panel. Um, we have our display that's running here and up into the back of our main panel. Um, we have another cord here that runs down to our compressor on the bottom. This will control it if it needs to be kicked off, off or on. Um, another serial outlet here if we needed to run it to um, another component off of here. And then directly behind this cord here, tell you what, this may be a better way, you can see a test button right here. This will be much like our EST button on the, uh, uh, on the 7200, and we'll go through an EST on this machine as well. On the back of this machine, there's not really anything down here except there is a uh, cooling unit right here this actually helps keep the machine cooled off so make sure not to cover this or put anything that may catch fire up against it um, you can see a little better our air and oxygen inlets here and some of our other cables that connect up this is our uh, cable that actually runs to the backup battery so if we should lose power, this will actually power the machine for a certain amount of time. Um, probably long enough to make sure and get the ventilator switched out. But you wouldn't want to run off of this for any extended amount of time.